NCAT quickly realized the significant impact that COVID-19 and a global pandemic was gonna have on the learning environments. And we made a shift to use virtual reality for social engagement. We hosted some of the earliest educator workshops and different events in the space and quickly began teaching other teachers how to use the technology in their classroom to maintain the distance learning environment. Virtual reality, specifically social virtual reality in times of COVID distance learning, facilitate that distance learning. They allow for people to have the same experience. And that's really the key. The experiential part is key to this. Being able to share an environment and share an experience, be able to see each other and talk to each other and engage with each other in a socially meaningful way, even though it's in a completely virtual environment and they may be separated physically by geography. The main ROV competition is a global underwater robotics challenge that tasks students with designing and building an underwater robot. While the pandemic forced us to cancel the competition last year, it also inspired us. Working with our NCAP partners, we have reimagined the competition this year. Not only will it include in-person events and telepresence activities, but we are creating a virtual world where students and mentors from around the globe can participate in the competition, even if they can't be there in person. VR has quickly transitioned from a source of exciting but supplemental content to being a part of our daily necessity for the interaction and opportunities that students and educators are looking for. It reduces the amount of time and funding required to attend certain events which allows for broader access of participants in events where we're able to provide education on autonomous technologies and provide an interaction with an exciting technology that's really inspiring students into new things. It solves the problem of shared experience. I can design a course in VR where the students that are able to make it face to face get the same experience as the students who aren't. Our distributed students get the same experience, they get the same material, they get the same equipment as the face-to-face -face students would, and so you don't get this disconnect. The National Center for Autonomous Technology is providing guidance on the development and implementation of VR for social engagement to educators and students to continue expanding the access to autonomous technologies education.